And today I'm going to show you how you can do your own brake fluid change. It's quite easy. This is my daughter-in-law, her BMW F800 GT. And my son bought all the uh, parts that I needed. And he came up with this brake fluid. And it's from this brand, Ural, Ural. It's dot four full synthetic. So I'm sure that's a good brake fluid. If you want to see more maintenance videos of this BMW F800 GT below, I made a link to the playlist of all the things for maintenance and, and stuff for this BMW 800 GT. So you can have a look there if you own one and you want to do your own maintenance. But for now, what are we gonna do first? First of all, I already uh, unscrewed it a little bit, the clamp, and then I tilted it. So now it's almost horizontal. And then we're gonna cover everything because brake fluid is very aggressive to paint and to I'm sure plastics too. That's the first thing I'm gonna do. Hey, uh, friends. So. Over there, and then one. Tiny one, this one, I'm going to put in between here, so, up, so, now it's covered, come on over here, and we're going to start, first thing I'm going to do is open the reservoir. And normally you need a special tool because I'm going to show you and I've already showed it in one of my other videos. Wait a minute. This is the thing I modif modified. Yes. Hopefully you can see it. This slides in here and normally it has this bigger thing yeah just I'm not sure Kijk. as it has this block rattle thing system into it so you always need that stupid tool to get your to get the lid off and what I did and I also did it with my own beamer I sanded it those notches off so now you can always screw it loose by hand without that yeah that tool so. then we take the up oh, and I'm gonna <coughs> this thing and I'm gonna suck out as much brake fluid as I can as I don't want to mix old brake fluid with new in here already so then let's see That looks good. Another clean 
Beep, beep, beep. Up. Okay. Then, give this a quick clean too. The uh, membrane thing. Wait a minute. Inside out, push all the stuff in here. This one I could clean, and then watch. Mm -hmm. Nice, looks good. Now we're gonna turn it inside out. I do the same. Gag. So that's better, at least. Oop. Yes. Now. practice to always close those bottles before you know it drops to the ground or something falls in you never know and then we're gonna fill it up easy very easy as I don't want to have bubbles in there air bubbles so over there okay you can see there was a tiny bit of bubbles now out of the way for this moment another one Bites the dust. I put my hose, this thing, onto the calipers uh, air bolt thing, range 8. I already opened it quick, so now I know it's good. Then carefully press the handle and open it and close. Open it and close. Open. So we have to squeeze, open, close. Squeeze, open, close. Nah. Yeah, always be careful. Some uh, brake pumps shoot out brake fluid while pressing the handle. So yeah, always have to be careful. Sometimes they make a, a tiny, uh, yeah, what is it? Iron piece above it. So that's good. Okay, you see it, it moves over there, but it's not dangerous. Keep the level of the reservoir, otherwise you pump air into the system. That's not good. Up. So, carefully gonna wait. Do it like this so you can see it better. Okay, 
this machine has an has ABS, so it goes from there to the ABS pump, whatever it is. Oh, it's over there, and then back to the calipers. So we need some extra, but these are very thin lines, so. We also gonna do computer stuff in a moment. Yeah, computer stuff. Ta -da. Now, fill it up again. Fill it up. Oh my God! And fill it up. Up. Okay, so squeeze, open, close, squeeze, open, close, squeeze, open, close, squeeze, open, close. If you got the hang of it, you can do this really quick. Carefully, first be sure that it's closed and then wiggle it off while holding it upright. Now I'm gonna do the other side, but because it has this uh, splitter over there, so while I was pumping, it's now the new fluid is already into the ABS unit. So all I have to do now is get new fluid from in this line from here to the caliper. Easy. Same as over here. So guys, I promised you we're gonna do computer stuff. What do we need? First, I have my computer. It's a netbook, an old one with Windows 7 onto it, has a small display, but for my BMW computer it works perfect. So that's what we need first. But then the most important thing is we need the interface. This is the, let's see, the GS911 and of course the cable, the USB cable. Now, actually it's quite easy. Over here and here is the connector. The, no, no. The uh, Diagno diagnose connector, diagnostic connector. Plug this one in. Normally that goes. Click. Then. And here we're gonna plug in the BMW interface computer. Then we have our cable. One goes in here, plugged it in, put the bike on ignition, wait until the Atari has finished, uh, then open the software, that's over here, there it is. Okay, then we going to the F series. Hop. Then we go to the F eight hundred GT. Okay. 
then we have here the anti-lock braking system over there okay and the bottom is ABS bleeding test bleed test front brakes we have to squeeze the brake lever three times during two seconds let's do that go over there continue counting down there it goes and three. One, two. One, two. okay you now bleed the brakes again if any air was expelled Repre repeat this procedure and now we have to bleed the front brakes again but to be honest i never had any air trapped in the abs module but never had it so just gonna squeeze out if there is any air let's see if there is any air coming out nope 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 as you just saw there was no air coming out but I guess job's done now so we're gonna fill it to maximum level and I'm gonna show you a tip watch what I always do now watch okay. this one. Oh. carefully wiggle it off <laughs> it wait up when you have bleed the brakes bled bleed bleed there's always brake fluid in there and I make this thing gently get it in Hop. and then see Uitvloepen. Then have another one. Another one bites the dust. Even kijken. Yep. Closed. And this one I stick in and leave for a while. Hop. Gotta do the same on the other side. Now we're gonna fill this one to level this one off and oops, this one off and now let's see if it is no, a little bit so, this one out Now we're gonna fill it to max. That should be somewhere over here. But I always stay a tiny bit underneath the maximum. Just a tiny bit. Because, oh, oops, when you when you exactly fill it to max and you put this one in, it comes out. And now it just touches. Then, hop, this one. Up. 
not too tight. I have another tip for you. What I discovered when the bike was the first day in my shed, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, I got the lid off and I was looking at it, okay. And then I noticed there was a drop of brake fluid. And for what I, wait a minute, for what I saw, and over here, this is with two screws bolted on with an O-ring in between. And I could both uh, turn them further in, well, half, three quart, and now it doesn't leak anymore. So, now it's good. So, let's do the rear brake.